Hello and welcome to another video. So this video is going to be quite a short one. Um, probably going to call it Super Short Sunday. No, on a Wednesday. Super Short, super short Sunday on a Wednesday. So today I want to show you how I light my spider webs and the differences you can, uh, the difference in the looks that you can achieve lighting it in different ways. So this, today I'm using a reflector and an off-camera flash. Normally I use a ring light on the front of the lens, which which will um, give you the it's, it's a bit of a harsh look really. You get the ring light in the picture, so this will take that. Ooh, just knocked the bush and moved the spider. This will take that reflection off of the image that you're shooting. So this will work for anything you're shooting. It doesn't have to be spider webs, but this is just what I'm using as an example. Once you've got your composition all set up, what you're going to need to do is light the subject. So here's an image without here's an image without any lighting. Um, it's not really an image. So can you see I've got F10, 200 for a second, ISO 100. So that's the settings I've got. So now I'm going to light it from above. So this is the same composition image. So that's lit from above. So you can see, obviously the light is coming from above. So the top of the web, the, the flat bit of the web is illuminated. Um, not the greatest to see at this angle because my camera is almost straight on with the web, but you can see how that's going to light it. And you can see how intricate these webs are. So if I show you another picture from side lighting now, Okay, so you can obviously again see where the light is coming from and how that's lit up the spider. You get a completely different looking image. Now we're going to go bottom light. So from below, Ooh, just move the branch. Okay, so again, a different way of lighting the insect. And then this time I'm going to go backlight so this is going to come back into the camera this is my let's do that again be careful not to get the actual reflector in the image so this is my favorite type because as you can see compared to the other two types the, or the other ways of shooting it, you illuminate more of the web so it becomes more um, of an intricate picture. So what I want to show you quickly is with obviously using a flash you can isolate the subject um, and have a completely back, black background. Uh, but if you wanted the background in the shot if it was something that was interesting and you wanted to keep that background in the shot the way you do that is you set your you set your uh, shutter speed to 200 so your flash sync speed and then what you do is set your make sure your flash is on manual set your light in your aperture first obviously make sure you've got the exact settings that you want aperture ISO um, and then put the shutter speed at 200 and then take a test image. That's the light I'm after. You can see a little bit of the background in there, but to get more of the background, now I have that at the correct exposure for the foreground. I now want to expose to the background and I do that by changing the shutter speed. So if I bring my shutter speed down, say 15th of a second, take the same image. So you'll see now more of the background becomes clearer. So what you're doing basically is you're exposing for the foreground with your flash and then the ambient light is light in the background, which is what you're using your shutter speed for. So there's a really quick video on flash and the settings I use for taking photos of spiderwebs. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will catch you on the next one.